Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melody Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today I wanted to have a quick little video that's going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. Today we are looking at some tarot cards. Look how beautiful these cards are. I just love them. So we're just gonna choose three cards from this one here. Now, I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight for Sunday the 27th of November. We are finishing off the year and my goodness, there are some beautiful things to come and I just wanted to give you some little guidance and reassurance to let you know that you are on the right journey. So I'm going to choose, oh gosh, that one came out. So that's the first one. We're going to have three. So maybe, oh, oh, whoa, that one came out quick too. So that's the second. I'll just, ah, oh! <laughs> this is not going very well. Um, yeah. I'm just going to shuffle these ones. Everybody shuffle in. Okay, you don't want to hear me sing. Or do you? Um, okay. Any others? This one's sticking out. All right, three cards. Whoa, we got two major arcana cards, which are fabulous. So the first one is Renewal. Archangel Jeremiah. Jer Jeremiel? Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction, my loves. Now, because I'm new to tarot reading, this is not a profession, this is just kind of a hobby and it's become like a self-love practice. I'm referring to the guidebook, which gives me more insight. But I know 20 is a pretty damn good card. It says the angel sent you this card because you either, you're either near the end of a project or you're at a crossroads on the threshold of making an important change. This card signifies that the time to review to do so, to do some evaluation. Make thoughtful judgments regarding your life and then make confident choices. Rest easy, knowing that you're prepared well. Legal situations are resolved favor favorably for you. In addition, academic examinations and certific certification tests go well. There's additional meanings to this card. I'm just gonna read them out for you. A landmark decision, a career or job change, moving in a different direction, a new beginning. Jeremiel is the archangel who helps you evaluate your life so you can clearly decide upon appropriate changes. Spend some time alone with a pad of paper or pen or your phone, whatever, and call upon Jeremiah to help you review what needs to be transformed, healed, or released. Wow, isn't that beautiful? It, to me, it looks like a partnership. Two people join together, like two people are making a decision. Oh, actually, no, there's two. There's three. There's two adults and a child. Take that how you wish. <laughs> Number seven, the chariot. Archangel Metatron. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Wow, what on earth does that mean? Number seven, congratulations. Ah! Um, this card means you've successfully balanced a recently challenging situation, which is probably this one here, now that you've become renewed. Um, your ability to see both sides take action and make decisions has, has garnered your approval, respect, and gratitude. So bask in the joy of what you have accomplished. Oh my gosh. Stay calm and grounded and be clear about what you're trying to achieve. It's important to show self-control, determination, and the willingness to go the distance at this time. Exercise control firmly but kindly with others. The additional meanings are self-discipline, sheer willpower, a great leap forward, a promotion or award, travel, modes of transportation. Archangel Metatron can increase your motivation and energy level so that you'll accomplish your priorities. What? Metatron uses the sacred geometric shape called the, oh good lord, Mecca, Mecca 
or Metatron's cubes to warp time, which enables you to instantly manifest your dreams into reality. Well, if you watched my video about how to manifest anything using the law of attraction, then holy moly. Ah, oh, I thought someone's at my front door. That's kind of amazing. Let's just take a moment to reflect on these two cards. How cool is that? So you've been at a crossroads and now you're like, nah, this is the direction and then you're getting like the chariot to be like, full steam ahead, this is good, this is good. Now, the next card is Two of Fire. Love this deck. You've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. Holy hell, all of these three cards are linked. Whoa, my loves, I'm so proud of you. You must have been following your self-love practices. You use the law of attraction. You've probably done the KonMari method. You're probably vegan now, or you're making better choices. You've cured illness and disease within your body. Oh my God, this is such a good reading. This is a time of coming into your own. The steps you are taking to improve your career or business are on the right track. As you move forward, courageous choices are necessary and you will be rewarded. Continue, continue foraging ahead and don't be discouraged by temporary delays. Also, don't allow anyone to hinder your progress, girlfriend. I don't say girlfriend, I just ad-libbed. <laughs> Consider working in partnership with those whose skills complement your own. Holy crap, oh my God, there's two of that one. And then I said there was two in that one with a little kid. And then there's two horses in here. Two, 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 two. Look up the numerology of two, my loves. Um, what does it say? Continue working in partnerships with those whose skills complement your own. Joint endeavors can help you achieve your goals. Negotiations move smoothly at this time. Additional meanings, excellent foresight, hope for the future, contracts and business agreements, great potential, controlled progress. Oh my God, this is amazing. So it's like you were at a crossroads and you didn't know what to do, but then you've like had a new, like what was the card? You've become renewed and you've got like this new sense of direction and what was that one? And you're gonna get the recognition that you have always wanted, it's coming and you've come to your own because you're now doing this with somebody else and you don't have to take the blame or the burden all by yourself you know it's not just you anymore oh my gosh this is as much for you as it is for me um this is just a general reading so just just work out what feels right for you and use your intuition to follow. So the next deck, I'm just gonna choose one card because I wanna keep this reading very short. This is the Daily Guidance of Angels from the Oracle cards from Doreen Virtue. Make sure you're following her on Instagram. She's, she is a queen, oh my God. Ah, this card came up, time to go. Actually, no, let's not read that one. Let's just do the one, just, oh. All of these cards are coming out. I just need one, just one, please. Angels, this is for the Melanie Kate Love fam. They just need one card. And if you would like to just flop out, so I know this is the one that you definitely want, that would be amazing. Whoa! Oh, the one that actually dropped and came up was relationship. It says, your primary relationship is with yourself and God, or the universe, whatever you want to call it, and every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. Let's find out more information about that card, shall we? Gosh. It's kind of like you're coming into your own, as it said on one of the cards. Yeah. And uh, the most important thing is the relationship with yourself. R-E-L... There we go. This card signals that you're entering a more positive phrase in your relationship. Oh, how nice is that? As the picture shows you on this card, you're now out of the forest. <laughs> aren't we all? And entering an area filled with light and beauty, like the angel portrayed on the card. You just need to hang on a little longer. Now there's additional meanings, I'll quickly read them for you. It says, the answer to your question lies within your relationship. 
trust your feelings about your current relationship and act accordingly, so your intuition. The angels are helping you manifest a wonderful new relationship. Send love, light, and the angels to your present relationship. A positive transition is occurring in your current relationship, which could include a healthy ending. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful reading. Oh my gosh, let's just go from these in order again. We've become renewed. The chariot awaits us now that we're like transformed. We're now working with other people. And the most important thing you need to remember when working with other people is to make time for yourself. Your relationship with yourself is the most important. That's why I heavily stress our self-love practices. Check out the video right here. Well, my loves, beautiful reading. If you would like to see more of these Oracle Tarot readings, comment below, let me know. Um, I love creating them. They are one of my favorite. I know they're not heavily featured on this channel because it is around holistic health and wellness, but you know what? Sometimes we need a little bit of reassurance or guidance from our angels if you believe in that. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Remember, continue to make better choices because it's going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. As you can see in these beautiful oracle cards and tarot cards, that it's, it's a beautiful journey that you are embarking on or you are in the middle of, and I'm so excited for you. If you're new to the MK Love fam, hit subscribe. Videos every Tuesday and Sunday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I make videos about delicious and nutritious food, self-love, made of it, blah, motivation when I can talk. Um, I have meditation series as well. I talk about the latest in evidence-based nutrition and I share with you my very transparent healing and weight loss journey. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you next episode. I love you, I love you, I love you. I will see you soon. Goodbye. Have an amazing day, guys. <laughs> I'm just getting the thumbnail.